All right, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing on this Friday, April the 9th, 2022? Thank you for joining me here tonight for another metallic episode of Music of Destruction, bringing you the very best in metal-related content right here on YouTube on the only metal channel you need. If you missed anything in the past week, bring that eye down, click it. Everything you need to get caught up on all the latest videos is there. Remember, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything you're looking at. One of the hardest working channels in the niche of metal uncompromising, unfiltered, intolerant, and brutally honest. If you like that, you're in the right place. If you don't, fuck off. Welcome to Metal Album Warfare Fridays here on the channel. And this is going to be a good one. Tonight's battle is between Leviathan, 10 sub-level of suicide, versus Tentacles of Horror. Now, I'm sure many of you who love black metal will know about the USBM scene that emerged from beneath the soil back in the mid-90s, and with it came a plethora of amazing bands like Judas Iscariot, who did start off in Europe first, Wolves in the Throne Room, I Shall Become, Zaster, Leviathan, Drogar, of course he was mid-2000s, but you get the idea. But of this infamous legion of hordes emerged a genre that would firmly establish itself as one of the predominant subgenres of black metal, DSBM, of course. More bands would emerge, especially in the U.S., but also across the world that took note of what the earlier bands were doing during this period, lest we forget also their European counterparts like Streed, Bethlehem, Forgotten Woods, and Burzum were also creating cold, melancholic black metal that would also help lay the foundation for this genre. However, Leviathan has become one of the gold standards of U.S. black metal and DSBM in general, along with his other project, Lurker of Chalice, which is a blend of doom and black metal and incredible disturbing dark ambient and is deeply personal. So is Leviathan, but Leviathan's more fast and hateful. Lurker is a lot different if you guys want to check out my reviews for both the self-titled Lurker of Chalice album and Tellurian Slaked Furnace, you can do so as well. I've also reviewed both of these albums in detail, so just check the album reviews playlist as well as the Silhouette and Splinters. Now, Rest has also become a living legend within the black metal underground, and though it has been seven years since his most recent full length, which was titled Scar Sighted, I am awaiting more releases from this tortured soul because he is truly amazing. Now, the 10th sublevel of Suicide was released in 2003 on Moribund Records, and Tentacles of Horror released in 2004 on Moribund Records as well. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? Now, Tell Tentacles of Horror has 12 tracks, and 10th sub-level has 10, so I will not be counting the last two off of Tentacles of Horror. All right, so first up from 10th sub-level of Suicide, we have Intro Eat versus What Fresh Hell from Tentacles of Horror, and of course, Intro It being only a one-minute ambient track. It's really good, but it's pretty short, and it sets up the album quite well on the 10th sub-level side of the coin, and then you have What Fresh Hell from Tentacles of Horror, which is blasting in the background right now. This is a truly compelling, brutal, dark, torturous, abysmal track with lots of like lower tune death metal influence in there, but also a lot of just amazing deep riffs and hooks, but very torturous and atmospheric as fuck. Very misanthropic stuff with what Fresh Hell gets the point, so a one nothing lead for Tentacles. Next up, Fucking Your Ghost in Chains of Ice from 10th Sub-Level of Suicide versus Hair to the Noose of Ghoul from Tentacles of Horror. And you know, these are equally sonic, brutal, passionate, viscerally emotional tracks that are so goddamn cold and misanthropic and bleak and suicidal that you'd swear you just want to string up the fucking noose like right now. These are amazing songs, both of them truly equal on all fronts, both getting a point, so we have a 2-1 lead for Tentacles of Horror. Next up, Sardana Scorn from 10th Sub-Level of Suicide versus Cut with Night Into Thine Heart from Tentacles of Horror. And of course, both equally great, grim, brutal, fast, atmospheric, ice-cold black metal that is so bleak and atmospheric and depressing. Just amazing stuff from both of these goddamn tracks and albums. I mean, it's very, very difficult to pick a winner here with these records. Because uh, they're both so damn good, but they're both getting a point there as well. So we have a 3-2 lead for Tentacles of Horror. Next, The Bitter Emblem of Dissolve from 10 Sub-Level of Suicide versus A Bouquet of Blood for Skull from Tentacles of Horror. And again, how can you go wrong with either of these tracks? They're equally intense, aggressive, raw, misanthropic, bleak, depressing, and hateful. So they're both getting a point there. 
Next, we have Scenic Solitude and Leprosy versus Deciphering Legend within the Serpent's Briar. Scenic, Scenic Solitude and Leprosy from 10 sublevel and Deciphering Legend within the Serpent's Briar from Tentacles of Horror. Equally, Sonic, Brutal, Aggressive, Fast, Heavy, Intense, Atmospheric, and Dark, and uh, absolutely incredible. So yeah, these are both getting a point as well. Next, we have Heem, whom shadows move towards from 10 sublevel of suicide versus a necessary mutilation from Tentacles of War. And again, amazing. Okay, both of these tracks so great in their own way. Different in some ways, but similar in others, but both brutally cold, black metal, fast, aggressive, raw, hateful, misanthropic, depressing, atmospheric, abysmal, cacophonic, chaotic, everything that you want in a Leviathan release. These two records have it both getting a point. Next, Submersed from 10, uh, 10 sub level of Suicide versus Vexed and Vomit Hexed from Tentacles of Horror. And of course, incredible stuff on both fronts from both of these records. I don't know why uh, anybody would pick one over the other with these two albums. They're both so goddamn good. Among some of his best work on both of these tracks, very fast, aggressive, brutal, uncompromising, intolerant, hateful, elitist, misanthropic, fucking black metal. So goddamn good. Both getting a point. Next, Mine Molten Armor from 10 Sublevel of Suicide versus Tentacles of Horror, the title track, Revel the Tyrant. Tentacles of Horror, Revel the Tyrant from Tentacles of Horror. And again, incredible stuff from both albums. Uh, Rest did a hell of a job on both of these records and these tracks. Could complement each other. Of course, these could be like uh, albums that could easily follow up and be on a compilation together because they flow that well and that seamless. So yeah, amazing stuff. Both getting a point as well. Next up, The Idiot Son from 10 Sublevel of Suicide versus Requiem for a Turd World from Tentacles of Horror. And again, amazing. Both of them amazing goddamn songs. I love everything about both tracks, although The Idiot Son's a little bit more emotional for me and hits me a bit harder. Requiem for a Turd World is just a sonic assault to the fucking face of heavy, aggressive, raw, depressive black metal and both getting a point as well. Finally, we have At the Door to the 10th sub-level of Suicide versus Blood Red and True from Tentacles of Horror. Both incredible, amazing songs. 10th sub-level of Suicide, one of my favorite songs of all time, but so is Blood Red and True from Tentacles of Horror. And I was going to pick 10th sub-level of Suicide, but Blood Red and True is one of my favorite songs on Tentacles of Horror as well. So they're both getting a point as well. All right, so let's add up the scores. 10 sub-level of Suicide comes in with 9 points, Tentacles of Horror with 10 points. Remember, Tentacles of Horror has those two extra tracks. So before you go off saying, why didn't you compare the last two tracks? Well, because 10 sub-level of Suicide only has 10 fucking songs. Do the math. Anyway, so yeah, Tentacles of Horror comes up with the win just by one point, but again, only because of the intro track, which is so short from 10 sub-level of Suicide, or this would have been a goddamn tie. Absolutely amazing stuff all right so there you have it another metal album warfare is in the books here on music of destruction hope you enjoyed the premiere if you're new subscribe turn on that notification bell merchandise teespring.com forward slash music dash of dash destruction as well as bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music dash of dash destruction really appreciate you guys buying some merch thank you join the channel become an mod elite amazing perks 4.99 per month hit that join button right now get access to exclusive content review requests banner interviews and much more. I'd really appreciate it. Have an awesome night. We'll see you guys for the Crypt Underground Metal Radio Show tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Cheers, everybody.